All right, we're back. We are on page two of notes 10 of Calc C. We're talking about Taylor series uh, instead of Taylor polynomials and instead of just generally power series. Uh, Taylor series, so let's see if we can do them. So we want to write, um, we want to not make a table if we can avoid it. We want to use a series that we already know to make a new series um, and write them in summation form and expanded form showing the first, uh, okay. And we can always check by graphing for sure. So the first one's e to the x, we have that memorized. So e to the x is one plus x plus x squared. The more you write them, the better, I would say, plus x to the n, or e to the x is the sum from zero to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. The more you write it, the better off you'll be. Now the reason that we did this one is that what we wanna do is just a uh, substitute, right? So if I need e to the negative 2x, I'm just going to go over here and every x I see is going to become negative 2x. So the negative 2 is important because every time you get an odd power, you're going to have like a minus and every even power will be plus. So it's, it's this one. I, I don't want to do this, but I'm doing it. This plus negative 2x squared over 2 factorial plus negative 2x, see how it is? It's like this. And then plus negative 2x to the n, n factorial. And then when we write it out, so you, I, I hope that you skip that step, to be honest. You don't have to, obviously. If you want to do it just for like a security reason, do it. Like that's, there's never anything wrong with that. But um, I want to, make sure you know that you don't have to do it. Like some people think, oh, I have to do this or I won't, whatever. You know, I think everyone's always concerned with like losing points for not showing enough. Like, no, you're supposed to know the series. You're supposed to know that you can do this. So do it. And then this we can write as a summation. Like we already wrote the nth term. So we can just borrow it. And two to the n, x to the n and factorial. Okay, that's it. It's just straight substitution. Feels easy, right? Feels like it's a little easier than it should be. It, I don't know if it is easier than it should be, but like it should feel that way. Um, all right, e to the three x. Every x becomes three x. So I'm gonna actually skip the step this time. I'm gonna do three x. Three squared x squared, two factorial. Three cubed x cubed three factorial plus dot 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 plus three to the n x to the n over n factorial plus dot dot dot. If I didn't put plus dot 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 at the end, what did I write? Not a Taylor series. I wrote a Taylor polynomial. We're writing Taylor series, so we got to do it. Um, so this we could just write as um, the sum zero to infinity of three to the n x to the n and factorial, there you go. These all converge for all x. Um, we could do the ratio test on them. You, you just end up with the ratios zero, and then that's always less than one. Um, and if you're not sure, do it, right? Like that's, that's kind of the idea. All right, uh, this, so here we're gonna build our series. So instead of doing x e to the negative x squared, which maybe you can do, some of you can definitely do it. I think I, I have a good chance of doing it, but I still like my chances better of writing it out term by term. And so I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna start with e to the negative x squared. So it can be one minus x squared plus it's x squared squared over two factorial. Then minus x squared cubed over three factorial plus dot, 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 plus be negative one to the n. Then it's x squared to the n, x to the two n. That for a second there, I was lost. And then over n factorial plus dot, dot, dot. And then we need to multiply this by x, right? So that's e to the negative x squared. Multiply this by x, we'll get x e to the negative x squared is, just literally every term gets multiplied by x. So it's x minus x cubed plus x to the fifth over, ah! That's supposed to be a two. Two factorial minus x to the seventh over three factorial plus dot, dot, dot. It's weird how like 
while my hand is making the wrong thing, my brain is telling me that it's happening. And yet, is it not the case that my brain controls my hand? So isn't my brain doing two things at the same time there, like going off the rails and also warning me that I'm going off the rails? Weird. Um, and this is gonna be just put your nth term. Don't be afraid of summations. They're never, never as bad as you fear they will be. I actually, I went for a physical the other day. First time I wanna say since, I honestly think it's the first time I've gone for a physical since I went to college. I think before college I needed to get a physical. So, you know, getting, getting up there, not old yet, but like seems like a good time. So I went um, and it was like fine. And like me in my brain, worst part about a physical, worst part about going to a doctor, I am convinced every time I go to a doctor, they are going to want to stab me, right? Either give me a shot of some sort or draw blood or whatever. And there I'm getting my physical done. It's amazing. I'm not getting stabbed by anything. Physical's done. He's like, all right. And then he's like, so tomorrow or whenever you get a chance before you eat breakfast, go have blood drawn. It's like, ah, I am so terrified of needles, right? So I, the next, I was like, uh, so I have this prescription. It's like, you have to go do it. And I'm looking at the date and like, it's good until 2021. Like I, I could definitely like just not go for a while. But then I say to myself, like, I'm either doing this or I'm not. And so I'm like tomorrow I'm going. So I wake up in the morning, don't eat anything. Uh, it, seven o'clock rolls around. That's when they open. I hop in the car, I drive there sitting there just waiting getting so nervous i'm like breathing in and out i got a mask on because of the world and uh it was it was terrifying and i go in and i like tell the guy i'm like i'm just the biggest wimp and he's like super nice super nice guy he's like don't even worry about it and he like goes over to another drawer and he like i don't know if he got a smaller needle like a thinner needle or he was just pretending is like a placebo type thing comes back, he's like, I found like a thin needle, I'm gonna use that. I barely even felt it, and it was fantastic. I don't remember why I'm telling you this story. Oh, because summations are never as bad as you think they'll be. Uh, yeah, so I got my blood drawn, not as bad as I thought it would be, still terrified. Even like the rest of the day, every time I would like think about it, I just kind of like shuddered, like, ah, I'm gonna get stabbed again. I don't know. I'm gonna end this video here, because clearly this is a good place to stop. Uh, I'll be back in the next one, and it looks like we're going to do some, some cosine stuff. Well, a little bit. But anyway, uh, I will see you there.